The experience of architecture and the experience of nature are very similar. Uh, nature takes a long time to develop the shapes of nature, the textures here on the rocks, these lichens and these colors, the growth of the trees. Hundreds of years, thousands of years to come into the shape. Architecture is quicker, obviously. Architecture, construction, design, a house comes together, a building comes together, two or three years, construction happens. These buildings tend to be with us for 10, 20, 30 years even longer, 200 years, 1,000 years. We're at the Exploded House in Tukbiku Bodrum, and the Exploded House by GAD Architecture, the challenge was to balance the existing topography and natural landscape with a house, with a private villa for contemporary life. The house itself of reinforced concrete and stone also integrates itself as a unique shape, it's contemporary, it's allowing contemporary life. So our task will be to kind of see the balance between this contemporary condition and this existing topographic condition and how the architect is able to balance these two for a house for contemporary modern living. In this house, the plan has been organized around the hillside and the views that we have accessible through this particular location. So behind me, you can see that this big picture window has framed the view behind us so that when you enter the house and you look to your right, you see yourself very much in a topography, in the local hillside, what they call in Bodrum the Maki, which is these low shrubs that cover the hillsides. This is a kind of volcanic zone, so no big trees are growing. But as you go into the house, you can still experience this topography. These stones have been here for thousands of years and they're still here. This was part of the original design. And as you go through into the main living space, the topography meets you and at the same time, you have access to a very dramatic view looking west towards the Aegean Sea and over to Greece. So this experience spatially connecting the topography with the view further on towards the sea makes the house's design a very specific, very careful orientation towards the existing features of the landscape. Modern architecture has been really realized through industrial materials, manufacturing of the 20th century. And one of the key materials or combinations of materials that we have seen is the use of glass and steel. And modern architecture has used glass and steel to optimize the amount of sunlight that comes into spaces and also to create spatial experiences, dynamic spatial experiences where we have access to larger expanses of views, as you can see here at the Exploded House by GAD Architecture in Bodrum. The ability to actually manipulate steel and glass at this size has only been recently, let's say 50 years, has been realized. What happens is space is unified. The interior goes to the exterior and the exterior comes into the interior. And then first of all, I start the exploded houses. You visit that their site, and are, uh, now the uh, second owner, uh, new young family, uh, the 
bought this uh, house and also they appreciate it fantastically. I'm really, really uh, happy about that. They follow what we designed 20 years ago. And what was the idea is the microclimatic things and uh, 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 understanding the location, uh, existing condition and uh, weather conditions also. What we added like uh, playing with the water uh, uh, and then giving the more um, uh, cool idea and then the wind generation.